brake job rear with some EBC brakes double H in the back in the rear how about you guys hit that like button subscribe hit that notification and personalize it <laughs> and I was getting down there low these brakes have been on there since since they bought it new wouldn't surprise me alright there's your little thingamajigger there Rubber pin. Now these are a little different, but only because uh, Let me see that light. We've gotta do I don't think I don't know how much you can see from back there. That light helps. It don't help me none though. It helps you the same anyway. pin that runs in there with a whatever size that hex is. And it's just a little bit different though because you can't get in there like you want to. I've already used a bar to slide up under the pad and expand it back to to uh, to close down my calipers that would have been out because they were two thirds at least of the way out and that's how I knew those pads were really worn. But it's a little bit of a game play baby on these. Oh it's okay. Yeah them puppies is... When I see they're not going to be as bad as you think. Right, okay. The reason is they're twice as thick as the ones that are on the front. But the piston was out. But the piston was out really yeah. far, and I've got it flushed back down. And see how thick those... All right, here, let me cut that. Check this out when you show them this. And again, these are probably going to have that... Metal on the back. It's got the metal on one. I see it already. You compare that, though, to what you just took off. Oh man. You see? Oh yeah. So, and look, they're both that thick. Yeah. So the rear, now that's one of the things that you'll notice, and I'm telling you, I've done it enough times. The rear brake pads on the Gold Wing and F6B in the rear are about a half again. They're a different number. They're not the same as the ones in the front. And you got to understand that you need to put these thicker ones on the back because you'll change. This one time to about two times you change your front ones under normal wear. Okay. But what you got to remember about them too is it makes them a little harder to put on. You got to make sure you got these calipers pressed pistons back down so you can slide these in there because you can't you can't do it like you can do in the front. You got to feel your way on the rear ones. You can see your way on the front ones. Okay. Uh, that's the only difference. But I can tell you if you do those sets like they sell on the internet, and this is where you got to be careful. If you buy a set of these, and I've already done it before, they'll send you three of the same thickness uh, calipers or th pads as the two front and the rear one are the same. They're not supposed to be. This is supposed to be thicker in the rear than they are in the front. They, and they'll say, fits Go Wing 1800, and they'll fit, but they're not the thick ones for the back. Okay. You just know that. <clears throat> Really fun. first one went on pretty good but you got to remember that's a sliding it's a sliding mechanism just like the fronts are that whole piece slides so you gotta you some you gotta feel your way up on that clip on the top and it's got to come up match and clip and go in because the whole so you see that whole piece sliding back and forth mm -hmm. that's what's got to slide look at that yeah Gotta feel your way. Let's see if that'll work right there. 
And I can tell you, I've put them on before and got them in there, and I didn't have the top in the clip. And as soon as you put your brake on, make a noise, and you know, turn around, come back, go to the house, undo this thing again, drop them back out, pull them back. And if you can't get that back when you hold it with your hand against the back of this, and push this over, because remember, it's a moving on two, and then you can push it over and you can move the wheel back and it'll help you slide that up around there. Uh, okay. Kind of help you get it up before you need to get it. Just a little tipster. Yeah. Done it a lot of times. Boy, it's quick when you get it done, that right quick. For what you, you know, you needed them, they're on there. You pop that back on. Guess what? We just did a brake job on a go on the F6B Boom. on the rear. Now, we're going to tap it. So. Get it. They'll self adjust out. It's rolling pretty good and it's not making any clattering noise. Yeah. It'll adjust itself out as you ride it. Boom. There you go, buddy. You got your ears done, too. That's a new bike. That's a new bike right there pads where we had the front off and we just threw on the rear brake pads in less than five minutes and it can be done you just got to kind of know the tricks of the trade I guess but uh, and everything's buttoned back up ready to go and he'll be headed back to Alcoa Tennessee on three, on three slap the adventure one two three slap the adventure